So you've made your Common App account, and now it's time to write your essay. I'm gonna take you step-by-step step on what you need to know and share our number one tip to write a great essay. Writing your Common App essay, part one. Selecting your prompt. Each year, the Common Application offers several prompts for students to choose from. Make sure you take your time to read through each available prompt and select the one that you're actually passionate about. Select one that you feel that you can write the most about. This will definitely help in bringing out more of your personality in your writing. Writing your Common App Essay Part 2. Make a really quick outline or a rough, rough draft just to get started. Put together some ideas on what you'd like to start writing about. Was there an important event that shaped who you are today? Why are you so passionate about what you're going to write about? Or perhaps what you're going to study? Let them know who you are in your writing so you can shine. It's always great to write on a prompt that you naturally are interested in. That way your writing won't seem forced and you can put your authentic self forward. Voice and tone really do translate in a person's writing. So it's really great to select a prompt that you feel closely resembles who you are and what your goals are in an academic setting. Select a prompt that allows you to shine through your authentic self and be able to share what you actually want to do in college and possibly share how you became the person you are today. There are many templates available online for you to put together a rough outline or just a particular draft. But what I'd like you to really do is get your thoughts on paper, whether that's physically writing in a writing pad or perhaps you're typing on a Word document or perhaps keeping a notes. Whatever the case may be, now that you have an essay to complete, there are gonna be some ideas that come to mind while you're out and about and you're, you may not even be thinking about writing the essay, but you wanna make sure you jot down those ideas. That way, when you're creating an outline later, you can gather all your little bits and pieces of notes and put together an outline that starts to make sense for you. Writing your Common App Essay Part 3 structure. Now that you have some ideas, organize them into three main paragraphs. Your first paragraph is referred to as an introduction, which will provide the concise idea as to what you're going to focus on for the remainder of the essay. We also call this a thesis statement. An introduction has the power to capture the reader's attention, so it's a great idea to build a strong thesis statement and to deliver an overview of what you're going to speak on for the rest of the essay right in the introduction. A key thing to keep in mind when putting together your introduction paragraph is to ensure that you are answering the prompt question. Remember, the Common App offers several different prompt questions for students to choose. So make sure that your introduction is speaking to that prompt question. I would advise you to look over your introduction a few times and compare it to the prompt question, making sure that you are not leaving any gray area or any holes in your stance. The second paragraph is where you'll go into more detail, providing clear and specific examples that speak back to your introduction and your thesis statement. And the third paragraph is typically your conclusion. Your conclusion will typically summarize what you've already stated in the essay. This is the time to really drive home your main point of the essay. Your conclusion is usually not the point in which you wanna bring up new information, rather you can speak to what you've already stated. Writing your Common App Essay Part 4, Crafting Your Thesis Statement. Our number one tip to set your essay apart from the crowd is to build a strong thesis statement. The thesis statement usually occurs at the very end of the introduction. It's usually the last sentence in your introduction paragraph. Think of it as a single statement that states what you care about and why. It's a lot to capture in a single statement, but I promise you it's a great way to capture the essence of the remainder of your essay. And it also keeps you organized as a writer. A thesis statement is a great reference point to look back to as you're developing the remainder of your essay. You want to stay on track and it's very easy in the writing process to get off track, especially when you're talking about something that you're very passionate about. Ultimately, when a college admission officer reads your thesis statement, it should directly answer the prompt question that you selected on the Common App. And it should answer questions related to why this particular student is a great fit for this institution. Why this student for this program at this time? For example, if you're planning on majoring on engineering, a bad thesis statement would be, I really love engineering. It doesn't really tell us much about 
why engineering and why you and why this particular college, right? It's a little short. An example of a good thesis statement might be, leading my high school's robotics team taught me how to collaborate and use engineering to solve real world problems. Let's apply this thesis to the question we mentioned earlier. Why this student? Why this institution? And why now? Well, why this student? They're a leader who has collaborative team experience. Why this particular engineering program? This student has direct engineering experience in leading to solve real problems. Why this student right now at this time? By looking at the bigger picture of solving real world problems, this student demonstrates maturity and the ability to identify real world problems. This student seems to identify the real value in engineering and respects this particular major and profession. See how we college admission officers are able to tell so much about a particular student just by reading their thesis statement? Writing your Common App essay, part five. Write, write, write. Now you have your thesis statement and everything organized into about three paragraphs. I should probably mention this, but your essay doesn't have to be exactly three paragraphs, but I think this is a great starting point. That way, if you identify that perhaps you have a lot of information in one particular paragraph, you can perhaps have multiple body paragraphs. So for instance, you may start with an introduction that has your thesis, don't forget that. You have body paragraph number one, body paragraph number two, body paragraph number three, and then have your conclusion. Keep in mind though, the common application does have a word requirement. So no matter how you structure your particular essay, make sure you're abiding by that word count. Congratulations, you have your rough draft or your outline completed with your thesis statement. It's time to roll on into starting your first draft your first official draft. When you finish it, give it a day or two, if you're able to, and write another draft. I promise you when you take a break and just walk away from your writing for a couple of hours or a day or two, you will begin to identify ways in which you can improve your writing and make your essay that much stronger. Don't rely on a first draft to submit your common application essay. It's just not enough time to put your best foot forward. So try to get a few drafts in there. Another thing you can do is have other people read your writing. Sometimes when we're looking over our own work, it's easy to overlook some errors, some needed structure alignment. Perhaps you may have an okay thesis statement, but if you have others look over your writing, they may be able to give you some tips and tricks to make your thesis statement that much stronger. When you're giving your writing to others for review, be sure to be open to their feedback. It may be difficult to hear feedback on a particular piece of writing that you've been working on for weeks now, but it is essential to receive that feedback in order to determine if you're going to implement that feedback or perhaps not. Ultimately, you as the writer, it is your decision to take feedback or not. But the most important thing is that you are open to feedback. Again, this feedback can include anything simple like catching spelling and grammar errors, perhaps needing to restructure or build upon your thesis statement. Another tip is to share the prompt question alongside your writing. That way, they'll be able to link what you've produced as a writer to the actual prompt question and ensure that you're actually answering the prompt question. That's what the Common App prompts are for. It's basically a way for students to guide their writing and ensure that they are answering the necessary questions to be possibly considered a student at the college or institution. Once you have once you have personally reviewed your writing and have shared it with others to provide feedback as well, you are just about ready to submit your common application. In a full package, you would have your essays, any other supplemental materials, your personal information and so forth, all ready to submit the common application. Be sure you have all of the requirements before pressing submit. If you're not exactly sure if you may be missing a particular requirement, the Common App is actually very good in highlighting any missing areas you may have missed by accident. But just to be sure, go ahead and start from the very beginning and review all of the information that you've inputted into the Common App. That way, you can feel great pressing submit and have a huge sigh of relief and knowing that you may be considered for your dream college or university. Congratulations, you put together a strong essay in your Common Application. I hope these tips were helpful for you and can help you build a strong essay for the Common Application.